Greetings DTC, it's always lovely to see your shiny smiley faces looking back at me. Um, this is Porter's for product review time and uh, over the last week or so actually I've been lucky enough to be looking at Dave Forrest's 452 production called Deceptions Volume 1. Well if Volume 2 is anything to go by then that is going to be damn good because Volume 1 is packed full of uh, a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of clever thinking here, as usual from Dave Forrest, um, using cards, but connecting with the lay person. Nothing is too difficult. Uh, there's, you know, there's a few knacky things, but um, it's all very well explained. Basically, you get a performance, uh, you know, a set of performances, then a set of explanations. Uh, we're not going out into the live um, great British public, but um, you know, it's just very well, simple, put together DVD. And I got a lot out of it. Um, what I like about um, this in particular is the storylines, I think, connect well with the lay uh, person. And um, it's, they're quite to the point, sharp, simple, direct. Also, you always get a bonus with Dave Forrest, is that as he's going through a lot of his um, effects, he'll throw in and show you a new move he's used, maybe getting a card to the top or a colour change. Which actually, you think, oh yeah, that's really cool, and it looks really visual. There's one um, where controlling a car, which I use now a lot, and it completely frightens people. There's not even thought that anything dodgy's been going on. So real hidden bonuses within within a DVD. So reviews, uh, so performances, I really liked. Um, it just to let you know, it's, it's all cards, and um, I really like the start of the DVD. It's called One More Thing where it's quite nice because especially for your work you often get asked by um, quite a few people at kicks oh you must practice for hours or how did you get to be this good da, da, da. and you then can go into this routine and say well actually I used to practice by finding a four of a kind from a shuffle deck or whatever and so you you show them this routine where um, you, you're talking through well, how you used to do it you time yourself and in the end the cards end up in amazing places. There's one in a box, there's one under the box, and there's a couple of very visual, you know, well, there's a, uh, you know, some changes. Uh, and it's a really cool way of sort of moving on from their initial conversation. And then that goes in, there's another really good effect, which I do use again now, called Discarded, where you use that four of a kind to then help find uh, a chosen card that they, you know, they, they've signed if they wish, um, which again is a really nice, direct but cool routine. Uh, there is a brilliant routine on there which I think uh, Dave Forrest says that he worked a lot with Cameron Francis on um, called One and basically you bring out uh, what is apparently a deck of cards and you you talk to the audience and in the end they choose one card. They choose one card, 52 cards and inside the box is that one card. Um, and there are little outs going on there, but it's just, you know, the box is empty, this is one card, and it's really cleverly thought out. There's been lots of good thinking here, and it's very strong. I've got it, I have it with me now, on, not at the moment when I'm working, and it's just, a, it's, it's very simple, but very strong, very recommended, it's called One. I think a lot of people will be using that. There's a nice matrix routine, but on a card with crosses, where it's very visual, these, these crosses move around, and it's a nice little giveaway to it with a signed card by the end. Um, uh, there's, uh, there's a colour change. What else did I like on here? There's, uh, there's a card to a tic-tac box, um, which again is very visual, a nice looking moment. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's lots of good stuff. As I said, if you get one or two things out of a DVD, I think you're doing well. I've got more than that with this. So, again, lots of good thoughts from Master Forest and a recommended DVD from me. I'm going to give it 4.5 for the war worker and uh, 4.2 for the hobbyist. Definitely worth checking out. Nothing too difficult, especially if you've got some skills with cards. You'll get a lot out of this. So, I say, all the best. Power Hacha. Mm.